And here we are back at the man cave at Wistful Vistas as I thread my way through my cluttered but happy space. It's cluttered but it's happy, so don't get on me about that. Welcome to Wistful Vistas and the man cave here in beautiful suburban San Diego, California. This afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, it's raining in San Diego. I don't know why I have to give a weather report, but I feel like I do. And I complained to the mayor, wrote him a very angry letter, and I said, hey, what's up with the rain, dude? We're paying a lot of taxes. We need some sunshine. Didn't happen. I guess he just doesn't care about me. Ah, well, politicians, what can you do? But we're going to do something quick in the man cave here this afternoon, even though it is raining. It won't be an outdoor one. Uh, and that is, I am going to show you what, and do one of the single most useful modifications that you can do to your Aprilia Tuono, or for that many matter, for that many, for that matter, any motorcycle that you own. And that is, we're going to install this little guy right here. This fits in your, under your license plate and has a handy little carrying space to stow important documentation, house keys, 50 gallon bottle of water. Well, that may be an exaggeration. <laughs> it's not that large, but it is the handiest little deal. We got the uh, key lock here. It is the handiest little deal. And if, if uh, like most writers around the world, you have to carry documentation with you in California, we need our uh, ownership papers, the uh, license certificate, and proof of insurance when we're pulled over to prove that we're not out to wreck the world or something anyhow. But this is the handiest little deal. I'll give you the link down uh, at the bottom after we're done installing it. Handiest little deal, fits under the license plate, virtually invisible, locks, and allows you to carry that stuff without having to put it in your pocket and then forget that you didn't have it the next time around. The nice thing about installing this thing, we get to use power tools. And that just makes me feel like such a man. Don't you love it when you fire up a drill motor and you just use that thing? Oh man, oh man. Ladies, eat your hearts out. We're men today, we're using power tools. But let's put this thing on. Very useful, as I say. One of the best spots you can do on any motorcycle. Uh, my humble opinion and uh, put it together. I'm gonna to put on the chest mount and you're gonna ride along with me as we do this. Okay. All right, with motorcycles, there's an old saying that is, if it isn't obscure, difficult to reach, and hard to get at, then it's not worth doing. Actually, I don't think that's an old saying. I think that's something I just made up. But uh, by the way, don't mention this bit here. There will be a tile, tile tidy? tail tidy? You try and say it. Tail tidy coming in the future, but we're not going to get to that uh, for a bit of time. Anybody have any recommendations on favorite brands, by the way, I'd be glad to use them. But to get the license plate off the current ugly looking, uh, we need a ugly looking adapter. We need a Phillips screwdriver and a 10 millimeter socket. By the way, a little uh, point to make to you when you get a socket i don't know if this is going to show up or not but try and get one with this uh shape when you put your socket on there uh it it gives you a little bit of wobble which is nice uh when you put it in, gives you a little bit of wobble i hope that comes up gives you a little bit of wobble a little bit of universal action there which can uh help when you have a little, you know, uh, make an alignment a little bit easier. It's a little more forgiving. But anyhow, I've already pre-loosened them using those, the 10 millimeter and the Phillips. So we're just going to back these uh, screws out here. Loads of action here, folks. And this is a 10 millimeter nylock nut. Now you can reuse these. If I were a racer, I wouldn't, but you can reuse these up to about three times. They'll still uh, retain their lockiness. I'm going to call it that. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the other side here, and then we shall repair to the workbench and 
break out our power tools as promised. Stand by. So um, all we need to do here is drill the hole in our little magical document uh, case so that it matches the holes on the license plate surround. And we do that uh, just by sliding the little guy in there, putting him in place, and we're going to drill the holes here and here. Not going to drill four. Uh, well, maybe I will, actually. <laughs> Not too sure. But anyway, uh, we're going to drill at least two so that we can attach the document holder to the license plate. So that's the next step. Stand by. By the way, uh, if you don't have a vice in your garage, why not? Uh, give me a 30-word essay um, as to why you don't have a vice. Uh, absolutely essential. Okay, we'll get to the drilling in a moment. Okay, what we're going to do is drill the holes to match our license plate. Pick up our handy little power tool. There we got it. There we got it. Love it, love it. And hold it in place here. Notice that I have the vise that I'm not using as a vise, but just a place to uh, hold it. And we do both sides. <laughs> just love doing that. Makes me feel so macho. Now I'm going to walk over to the machine and make sure that these are lined up so that we can attach it to the back of that big old ugly license plate holder. Again, don't bug me about the fact that I don't have a tail tidy yet. That will come later, probably uh, after the break-in service. So check this out. We'll go off camera for a bit. We're back to recording. Now we're going to install the locking mechanism into our little handy dandy. There's a retaining ring on the back. This folds up like this on the back. So we want to put this little feller in there like this. You'll note how easy, how easy it all is, right? Yeah, right. We have to thread that through there. That's the part we speed right through. Uh, get in there and line up you. Okay. Goes like that. Then we take the uh, retaining ring on the back and slide it under the tab. <clears throat> like slow, like so, like slow, like so. Uh, nothing to it. Got it? Yeah, we got it. And then we just uh, tighten We just tighten that big old retaining ring on the back side there. We'll set it down. I'll apply uh, just a bit of a uh, locker to that. I've never had one come loose. That's because I apply the locker. But we tighten it up and then what happens when we turn the key like this, this goes over. We lock it, take the key out, and it's uh, set up to be held in place. Now, um, we will have to put the license plate back on, which we shall, and it will fit a little offset, a um, little bit of an issue because they never do match exactly uh, correctly, but it'll fit a little bit offset so that we have access to the key. Uh, one thing that you can do is cut around there so it fits perfectly. So I'm going to grab my uh, tools and cut that uh, little slot out here off the top. Stand by. We will grab our quote unquote little tool. It's called a hacksaw. You may have heard of it. I'm going to take this like this. And we'll mark it around. I 
We'll take a nice generous uh, cut at it here. Uh, we are going to cut away We are going to cut away, I have to hold it in place, um, we're going to cut away that portion right there and that will hold it in place. I'm not going to show this on video, it's too disturbing for younger viewers to watch actually destroying something to make it fit better, so be back at you in a minute here, but we're going to slot that part out so it fits over the retaining key uh, position there. We've got it trimmed away. We've got uh, our little cut here. Not too sure how well that's going to show up, but it's uh, it's right there. And the holes the holes now line up, and we have uh, we still have uh, access with our key there. So uh, everything here in Aprilia land, as far as this is concerned, is off to a pretty good start. So um, this is designed to be used with self-tapping screws into these recessed wells. I don't know if uh, you can see that or not, but uh, those self-tappers work out pretty well. It just occurred to me, of course, with perfect clarity, uh, that as I started this process off, I'm not sure I have self-tapping screws of that dimension, but I'll check in a moment and get right back to you. Okay, there's also another old saying, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, goes, when you get to trackside and you ain't got it, you ain't got it. <laughs> and you're gonna have to make do without it. So I didn't have the uh, proper size self-tapping screws, so I went ahead and drilled out the uh, four corners of our little holder here to put the license plate on. And I'll show you how that looks when it goes on in just one little moment. Okay, uh, I drilled out those uh, slots for the self-tapping screws. Let's take the key out of the way here. And uh, applied uh, some regular uh, screws with nuts that I have on hand. I think it came out pretty nice looking. By the way, we're supposed to cover up the license plate on these things. Is, is that a thing? Does someone out there... Want to steal your uh, vehicular identity and do nefarious things? <laughs> Anyhow, so the license plate is on. We're now going to attach it uh, to the motorcycle. Okay, stand by. What fun. <laughs> okay, we're going to put this uh, on the back of the motorcycle now. Uh, you'll note I lost my um, Zoom mic battery. So we are recording with the internal battery on the GoPro, hope that works out well. In uh, the case of these, we don't have to use um, <clears throat> any thread locker because they are nylocks. And as I mentioned, when I began this process, you can uh, reuse nylocks two to three times, unless you're a racer and really, really, really concerned about uh, their integrity, but you can use them uh, two to three times without any issues. So we'll get that guy started there. Then down in front of the camera. Get this guy started here. A little tough to manipulate it one-handed and blind. We'll get it over the end of the screw. And, uh, get the thread started there. I just noticed I pushed the washer, put the washer on the wrong side of the screw here. So we'll take this off very quickly. Do it all on camera. This is honest, honesty in amateur garage theatrics, ladies and gentlemen. So now we'll put it back there. <clears throat> put the washer on. What does a washer do? A washer spreads the load of the nut around a wider area, particularly when you're dealing with uh, softer materials and um, keeps it from pulling through. So 
Not a bad idea to reuse them if you got them. Okay, got it on there. Let's keep this running for the last few seconds here, shall we? A few seconds, a few moments. Okay, we'll engage the back. We'll use our big honking Phillips screwdriver and immediately notice that we've got the uh, ratchet in the wrong direction. Got her. Okay, now this flips up like that, and I'll show you what we do. I'm going to put these tools over here. I had my ownership papers. Not too sure of that part. I had them stuffed under the tailpiece here, which I no longer need to do now that we have room. And I can put these in here, <clears throat> produce my key, take this here, tighten it up, and we are good to go. As I say, um, in my opinion, about one of the best uh, modifications you can do to your bike. This thing is so handy. Let me detach the camera without injuring anybody's ego here. Stand by. And as you can see, it's pretty stealth. Uh, you're, you're probably, if you're the casual guy walking by looking to cause harm or trouble, you're not gonna see that there's a storage compartment underneath the license plate here. So that's where I keep my insurance papers, my uh, documentation of ownership uh, in case I need to produce them. Also, great place for spare batteries and other uh, smaller items that you may need. A cell phone will fit in there, but it's, it's moving it quite a bit. So uh, as we finish, we'll do a little pan over the top of the 2021 Aprilia. And as we finish, yes, we are finished. Let me move those reading glasses. As we finish, as I said, probably one of the best modifications you can do on the 2021 Aprilia uh, in terms of uh, just being so handy, not to mention any motorcycle you own. I'll put down the links to uh, where I purchased mine and, and what the brand is below, and please leave me your comments. Let's go back out. Pardon the cluttered man cave. Remember, it's a happy place, but a cluttered place. Okay, see you later. <laughs>